Well, hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. And we're out, freedom, at last. So we've come out to the Trossachs, we're at Loch Catron. Um, and we're gonna do a walk today. Hopefully we'll get some photos in, but you never know. But I'll try and show you some of the scenery. And uh, we'll enjoy this lovely sunny day. I mean, the loch out there is like a mill pond. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, come along for the ride, on we go. Well, spoiler alert, I do get some photography done and that's coming up soon. But let me tell you about our route because this channel is not just about photography. We started off at the car park at Trossachs Pier at the eastern end of Loch Catron in the southern highlands of Scotland. The road, one of the old military roads built by General Wade, hugs the shore of the loch for pretty much its entire length but we struck out uphill after a while to follow a good track across the hillside where we found tremendous views along the entire length of the loch towards the distant Arachar Alps. The track zigzags back down the hill after a while to join the road again, following it back to the car park. This video was shot on Friday 16th of April 2021, the day that lockdown was finally lifted in Scotland and unsurprisingly the world and its mother were out to enjoy our first day of freedom. Well, I tell you what, you can see what you like about Nicola Sturgeon, but she's picked a hell of a day for opening up Scotland after lockdown. And I'm finally glad to be able to say, we're not still in lockdown, we're not in West Lothian. Which is fantastic. We're now, like I say, we're up in the Trossachs on Loch Catron. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we're following this road along. If you follow this particular road, it'll take you all the way along the side of the loch. It's private, private roads, so there's no traffic, which is fantastic. Take all the way alongside of the loch, and then you can follow it all the way to Inversneed. Uh, old military road, because they speak the, the old barracks there where they fought the Jacobites. But uh, yeah, it is a lovely walk. They call it the Trossachs Way, I think, something like that, Trossachs Path. That's one which uh, we'd like to do sometime. We did start it at one point, but uh, didn't walk particularly far that day. However, we're out and about today, just a short walk, it's about six miles or so, uh, and we're going to try and cover uh, a route which calls itself Primrose Hill. Now it's not, it's not called that on any maps, I don't know why they've called it Primrose Hill, but uh, that's basically it. So it is marked, there's a, a map back at the start of the car park at uh, Trossachs Pier, and uh, this route's marked on that. But that's it. So, I don't know if you recall, but last year we were here and we did a walk across the hills over this way somewhere, uh, up and over by the, the pipe track, it was called. And again, lovely walk, got some nice photos. Hopefully, oh, get some nice ones today. Right, well, I've stopped. Uh, here and I'm going to try and get a panorama of Benvenue which is across here and I've got a lovely kind of bendy road back here which should lead a, a nice kind of S bend into the picture with a bit of luck. So uh, I've got myself all set up here. Um, I've got the tripod set up so it's absolutely flat um, and I'm using the leveller in the camera. I'll just spin around. I should be able to see this hopefully. Uh, press the right buttons. There we go. So you can see they've got the got the camera absolutely level as well, like that. So I keep banging the microphone here. So I'm sorry, you're going to get lots of bangs. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, if we spin the camera around, you can see that's the kind of picture that we're after with the mountain there, the road leading in from the front, and just that kind of angle there. Okay, so. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is focus up, so I'll spin around to about there. Okay, and I'll go click on that and we'll get manual focus. Hope you can see this, oh, this camera's in focus here. Alright, so, sorry, we've got that in focus. I'll switch to manual focus, like that, so that when I'm spinning around, it doesn't automatically try and refocus, because we want these pictures to all stitch together, you see. So I'm going to spin back right here, 
Okay, and then I'm going to switch around my display to this graph here. Now that's actually perfect, I would suggest. Um, what we don't want, if I turn that down, that's telling me that there's too much light when it's at one sixth of a second. So I'm going to bring it back up to about there, one thirtieth, maybe take it to one fortieth, there or thereabouts. You see the graph isn't showing there's too much light or oh, just a wee bit too dark there. Bring up a bit. There we go. Okay, so I was to take one thirtieth of a second. So every picture I take, what I'm going to do is take a lot of pictures, stitch them all together in Photoshop. Now, what I'll also do is just spin the camera around and make sure that that graph is never going to overexpose. Okay, and it's not, so we're fine. So I'm going to spin back the out. Let's go back to the picture. There we go. So let's take it from about there. I don't need all of it. We'll take it from about there. And I'll just take one shot after another. And what I'm going to do after each shot, I'm just going to spin this round by a couple of degrees. You can see it on the, on the uh, tripod here. Take it around by a couple of degrees each time. Take another photo. I don't know how many photos that will be, but I'll just stitch them all together in Photoshop. Um, and this is the finished picture now. We've started to climb uh, away from that lockside road now and uh, I spotted a, a composition from here. We're only, what, 100 yards off the lock, something like that. So uh, it's quite a nice composition. I don't know how well you can see that, but I'll show you, the, show you the picture in a minute. We've got a nice kind of S bend of a curve coming up here. Can't see what I'm pointing at. Ooh, that way, somewhere there. Yeah. Um, and we're looking out onto the loch with the mountains in the distance. Can just make out, I think it's Ben Lomond over on the horizon. You probably can't see it because of the exposure issues um, with, the, with this camera. But uh, I'm going to take the shot anyway. So what I'll do, let me just swing you around like this. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Right? Um, I'll stick on the movie so that you can see what exactly we're looking at. Now again, this is, as I've said loads of times before, it's coming up in a 16 by nine on the camera here. Um, but uh, I'll probably leave this in a two by three or maybe even a four by five cut off the top and the bottom of the picture there because there's nothing happening really down here, just the start of that path. And just a bit of kind of empty blue sky at the top here. So that's going to have to go. However, um, what we're looking at, I'm going to take it in HDR as well. Not HDR, I'll bracket it, you know, just because the bright sky, I didn't bring any filters with me. Um, I do I do like to get a wee bit of these kind of distant mountains. That's Ben Lomond over there, it's just disappearing. You can't even see it, maybe you can, I don't know. It's right here, disappearing into the, the haze over there. Right, so, uh, what I'll do, I'll just spin this around ever so slightly to about maybe there, oops, stop spinning, there. So we've got that kind of the, the line of the, the lock leading right up this kind of third here, um, up towards the, the end, up towards the hill there. Uh, we've also got, it's kind of dark there, which is why I'm bracketing, but the, the path leads off here in a kind of S bend away down the hill to the path, or the road rather, which is down the bottom of the lock down here. Um, yeah, that's all you need to know, I think, so. I'll switch that off and grab the shot. I'll focus first, then I'll grab the shot. One, two, three, click.
I'll tell you what though, I'm glad that we chose um, to come up around by Loch Catherine and uh, this Primrose Hill walk. It's fairly, fairly steep, it's not too bad. If I'm being absolutely honest, it's not, it's not that steep a climb, but I'm just out of shape. I'm probably the heaviest I've been, it's this lockdown. Um, I need to lose quite a bit. But anyway, so yeah, quite glad that we um, chose to come this way because we drove past the car park at Ben Ann, which is just a mile or so that way. And uh, it was absolutely packed to the gunnels, even at sort of nine o'clock in the morning, people were struggling to get in. But it was never our intention to go that way, so. Came along here, hardly a soul here. Fantastic, nice and quiet. So I've stopped again, I'm going to get another another shot looking down the loch. These are getting a bit samey, I think, but what the hell, I don't really care. Um, we're looking right across. Let me switch the movie on here again, because like I say, usually I've got a tripod and you can see what I'm looking at, but here it's difficult. So I just swap hands here, switch on the movie so you can see it. There we go, you got that? Cool. So, um, yeah, looking right out across the loch, We've got, I'm trying to frame it between these two trees here and here. Um, and I've got, on the rule of thirds, we've got the lock just kind of disappearing away over here. Now what you cannot see on this picture here, again, just because the haze and whatnot, you know, over in the background, I can see it live. Over about here, there is the cobbler and hopefully that should turn up or be able to be visible in the, um, the finished picture. Um, that hell I said earlier, almost Ben Lomond, I suspect it probably isn't. Now that I've got a grip on the geography of the place. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. Nice and simple, nice easy shot. Looking down the loch. Um, try and catch that. The light just now is quite nice, even though it's about midday. Uh, yeah, so that is that. I'll focus up. No, I'll switch off, the, um, switch off my movie first. And I'll make sure I'm in focus. There, that one there. Yep. And grab two second timer, grab the shot. So we're a bit further up the hill again, and uh, check out this view. Let me turn around, look at, look at that, can you see that? Nice and clear right down the loch. So again, I am going to grab a picture of that, because I can. Now, what we do have, I spin this around ever so slightly. Ooh, there you go, you don't get to see my lovely face now. We've got these trees in here and here. Uh, so I need to try and get right down between the two uh, just because uh, they kind of get in the way, otherwise just make a messy shot. So, uh, if I switch on the movie here, like that, and you can see exactly what we're pointing at. Uh, looking right down the loch, um, we've got right down here, a little boathouse right in the foreground. Um, again, I've got this self-same Kind of corner of the loch. That's Stornoch Lacker up there where we were uh, last year in that earlier video. I'll, I'll link to that. I'll stick a card up up here somewhere <laughs> so you can you can click on it and see that previous video that we did from up here. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's Stornoch Lacker way down there, and uh, yeah, and we climbed up and over these hills over here. Not to worry. Anyway, that's that. We've got as, as I was saying the rule of thirds. We've got this particular corner sitting up here on this corner. We've uh, I've got the other line running right through that hill across there, and the wee boathouse sitting in the bottom there. So again, I'll just grab the shot, um, 50th of a second, F11, switch that off. I do have, crossing the corner here, this tree here, uh, but I'll, I'm, I'll see how that looks in the finished picture. I might just end up just getting rid of it, just cloning it out, we'll see. But I couldn't, 
move it around without getting the other tree in the picture as well, so it's, it's kind of awkward, but not to worry. So, yes, uh, that's that. All focused up and grab the shot. One, two, three, click. Well, we've walked along for a mile or two now and uh, the path is starting to descend. The views have been absolutely fantastic as we have uh, walked along there, just right across uh, Loch Catrin, right down to Ben Lomond, Stronach Lacker, as I said, and all these places. We're dropping right down uh, and it should come down to the loch side again to walk back down um, that big long private road that we started on. So hopefully, I quite fancy seeing if we can get out to that wee boat house that was down there. Maybe get some pictures down there. We'll see. So we're down to the waterfront now. As I said, I wanted to get a shot of that wee boat house. And right enough, there it is. Um, right along out into the loch. Um, aye, so we've got quite a nice, quite a nice shot here. Um, just with the, um, the edge of the shore running right down to the boathouse. Um, I'll stick on the movie briefly, just as you can see it. Uh, there we go. That's quite nice. So it's looking kind of dark there. But what I want to do, I'm going to put on a filter. I've got this filter because the waves are coming in. So I thought it'd be quite nice to blur them. Maybe try and get a, an exposure of about a second or so. Um, just try and get a bit of kind of movement in the water. You know what I mean? Because at the moment, it's sitting at, what's that, 1 160 of a second. So, we'll see what we get anyway. But yeah, so here's the composition. We've got the boathouse sitting on the lower third here. We've got the line running right in along here. The shoreline, just giving a wee leading line over in that third across there. Taking the majority of the picture is this huge Ben venue again. Ben venue, I've never figured out how to actually pronounce that, whether it's venue or venue. Um, some people tell you one way, some people tell you the other. But that big mountain, anyway, is over there, taking up most of the picture. So that's the shot. Let me switch this off again. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it in uh, in manual mode. So I'll put my filter on. Like that. Okay. Uh, it's a variable filter. Can't even remember. ND 2 to 400 it is. And I've got it set up to more or less the maximum. Now, on aperture priority, which probably isn't the best way to take that, it's putting it up to two and a half seconds. What we're going to do, if I switch it to manual mode, all right, and again, let's see if we can see the picture here. Can you see that? Can you fix on that? Come on, you know you want to. Yeah, something like that. All right, you can just see me staring back at me. <laughs> right there. So, yeah, if I'm in manual mode, I'm going to switch on that so that we can see the histogram. One of these buttons, that one there. Okay, you see that histogram down there? Just about, there we are. And I'm going to turn around the exposure time until I get that histogram heading right over to the right. Now that's actually saying about 3.2 seconds, which is a bit much. So this is a variable filter, so I'll turn it down a wee bit. Okay, and then I'll turn my Close your time down again. Give it a second. Okay. Sorry, I keep drifting away from the camera. Turn that up. So that we're just about about there. Alright. So that should be it. Let's just one, two, three. I oh, don't know, hang on. Let's just get the display back first. Focus on the house. And the house. And I will grab the shot. One, two, three, click.
Well, that's it. We are going to call it a day at that. I um, hope you've enjoyed the pictures. They've, uh, we've had a good walk here. I'd like to say about six miles or so. Um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Primrose Hill, just off Loch Catron, as I said. Now, if you have enjoyed it, if you would do the usual, just like, subscribe, put some comments on, because I always appreciate comments. Um, that's the end, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>